Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ if you want to. For now, I just want to talk to you about Git Init Bear. And no, not like Smokey the Bear. That's a different spelling of bear. I want to talk to you about a bear Git repository. Now, before I can really demonstrate what a bear repository is, the first thing I need to do is demonstrate what a regular repository looks like. So I'm in my home directory. I'm going to create a, a new directory called Fozzy. It's Fozzy Bear. Waka waka. And I'm going to create a, a new git directory with the git init command. Now this git init command is going to create a regular repository. So this isn't a, isn't a bare repository. Maybe I shouldn't have called it fuzzy, but you get the idea. And in this repository, I can create files, I can add files, I can do commits. And all of the information about those commits is stored in a subdirectory called .git. Now if I do ls-a to take a look at the hidden files, you'll see that there's this .git directory. And that .git directory holds all of the information about the commits, about commit objects, about the commit history, all of that stuff. And in this current directory here, uh, I can do all of the different work that I need to do. So I've got a, a directory right in the root where I can put all of my files and there's a, a subdirectory .git with all the configuration. And I can do git add and git commit. Okay, so that's a regular repository. That's a regular git repository. Now, what's the deal with a bare repository? So the idea of the bare repository is that the idea of the bare repository is that it doesn't have this working directory where you can add code, write code, and do commits. It only handles the purpose of managing a history of commits, allowing people to push to it and pull to it, but you can't do development on it. And so let me create a, a new directory here. We'll have Smokey, Smokey the Bear. We'll move into Smokey, and then we'll do a git init command here. Use the, not bear, the bear switch dot, and now all of a sudden it'll initialize a, a new directory. But watch this. Instead of having the uh, working directory where I can add code and do commits, um, it's going to have something a little different. Let me do ls-a. Notice branches, config, description, head. That's all right in the root. Whereas before with a regular git directory, if you do ls-a, all of that stuff is under a subdirectory called .git. I don't have that in the bare directory. And if I do cd.git, you'll notice that all of these things that are in this particular directory here, uh, they're right in the root, are actually in the subdirectory .git. And so the idea is with a regular Git repository, you've got all of the history and the ability for people to push to it and, and pull from it, but you've also got a working directory, a work tree where you can write your own code and commit codes and do everything locally. With a bare repository, you don't, don't have that. With a bare repository, it's simply there for people to push to, for people to pull from. It will maintain a history, but you can't do any actual work or development in the root directory of it. And so if you're setting up a server, um, you know that's when you create a bare directory. You can think of even GitHub or GitLab as those actually being bare directories because no one's doing development in them and it's just being used for push and pulls and fetches. Um, so there you go. That's the key difference between a regular git init and a git init bare. Now I apologize if you wanted to learn about Smokey the Bear and I kind of catfished you into this tutorial, but if you did want to learn about Git init bear, well, I hope you learned a thing or two. If you want to learn more about Git, GitHub, GitLab, enterprise software development and server-side development, follow me on uh, Twitter, at CameronMCNZ, and I'm also the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. And uh, if you want to learn more about Smokey the Bear, I think uh, it's the National Forestry Association in the US. You can Google it.